what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Akon is sticking by Takashi 6 9 and he called his former gang, the Nine Trade Gangsta Bloods, messy. Akon said that, hey man, Takashi didn't snitch on you, so why are you mad? Let's unpack this thing. By the way, he said this in an interview with Vlad, the same interview where he told black people in America that they need to just move on from slavery. Forget about it. So, to say that somebody shouldn't be mad because somebody snitched on somebody else, to me it's kind of like somebody saying, well, she didn't call you the N-word. The Karen didn't call you an N-word. Why are you mad? Uh, the police didn't shoot your brother in the head, your dad in the head, your friend in the head. Why are you mad? Breonna Taylor wasn't your sister. Why are you mad at the police for going in the house and executing her? Akon should just stay quiet in regards to things that go on in America because he's tone deaf. Just a few days ago, I reported that he said the thing about slavery, talking about black people need to just move on from slavery. Easy to say when you're living in Africa, you make your living in Africa, you're getting your money in Africa uh, by way of Chinese, but you're getting your money in Africa and Africa uh, wasn't subject to 400 years of slavery or 200 years of whatever. They wasn't subject to that. And, but they also had a hand in slavery. That was Africans who had a hand in slavery. So of course, you would like to move on. You know, that's why a lot of white people get offended when you talk about slavery because their ancestors had a hand and slavery. And the remnants of slavery is live and well today. The remnants which they benefit from. So yeah, of course he would want to move on. Akon is tone deaf. He's starting to sound more and more like Fox News. He really could get a job as a correspondent for Fox News. The dude is constantly regurgitating white supremacist talking points. To say that nobody or people shouldn't be upset when they see somebody doing something that they feel is not upstanding, you know, that doesn't have any uh, integrity attached to it. It's, it's like those people that go out and just do all kind of crazy things and they say, well, don't judge, only God can judge. It's a defense mechanism. So people can do whatever they want to do. Now, he said that these uh, gang, that gang is messy and that uh, they were sloppy. He also said that real dudes in the streets are not loud. They don't broadcast their activities. I get that. I'll give them a half a point for that. And the reason why I said a half a point is because that's just what it is now. That's just this generation. I mean, they film everything. Like, the easiest job in the world today is a crime detective. It's like, man... These dudes, the criminals, actually do your job for you. All you got to do is like be eating, eating a sandwich. Mm, I guess I'll clock in, go ahead and 
get on Facebook or Instagram for 10 minutes and uh, get paid for eight hours because the crime's going to be right there. They're going to commit the crime and they're going to give you all the evidence you need. They're going to show you what car they're driving. They're going to show you the address of their house. They're going to give a confession. Yeah, this is me right here, fool. Yeah, I did it. This is what I do. You know what I'm talking about? This is what we do. This is how we get down. They're going to give it to you right there. Lay it right out there for you. These cats today will commit the crime on live. They will stream the crime live. Hey, this is me, Joshua Davis. I'm finna kill this fool. I'm gonna shoot him five times. Watch this. Yeah, he think I'm playing. Yeah, he think I'm playing. Yeah, driving this Mercedes. CLS. License plate J15200. I tell you about 200 later. Okay, here you go. He is right here. Wait a minute. Get out. Hold on. Man, I ain't got enough bullets. Hey, by the way, <laughs> how many of y'all boys got that Draco? Watch this. Say, fool, what up? Joshua Davis right here. Wait a minute. Is he dead? Let me get out. Get out the car. <laughs> oh, them Jordans. Oh, let me get these Jordans. Let me get them. Let me get them Playboy. Take off the Jordans. Put them on. Leave his shoes and all the DNA right there on, on, on the scene. Take off. All right, now I'm finna go home. And now first I'm gonna go by my girl house and I'm gonna eat me a bowl of Cheerios. And then, you know, I'm gonna knock her down and then I'm gonna get in the car and I'm gonna head on to my mama house. And uh, I'm gonna hang out there for a little bit and tell my mama to be my alibi, you know? Cause you know, T. Jones gonna ride for me. Then I'm gonna go back to the house, go to sleep. And then, man, then I'm just gonna, then I'm just gonna get up. You know what I'm talking about? They gonna lay the whole crime out for you. So, he get a half point for that. But other than that, Akon needs to fall back. Real talk. He needs to fall back just like anybody else that's black from anywhere else speaking on what's going on out here, trying to talk down and trying to tell us what we need to be doing. If you're black and born in America, but your parents are not like Akon, then you should be very careful about your criticism of black people and how you think we should proceed in regards to justice and equality, because you have a total different experience. Akon should be checked for a wire next time he does an interview. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.